The flatten button in Cricut Design Space is a really helpful tool and if you're not sure what it is or how to use it, I'm excited to show you what it's all about because it can really show you a different way you can work with your cut files and that can in turn help you find other ways to craft. So what I'm going to do is show you the flatten button and let me introduce you to it. So let me select the spike and you will see down here at the bottom of the layers panel there are five buttons down here and the fourth button over is called the flatten button so it's right here. And what this does is it takes a file from a cut file to a print and cut file. So what it does is it flattens all of the layers into one layer. So I will show you exactly what that means and so you can visually see what it's doing. So what I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this image right here so we can see a cut file versus a print and cut file. So right now we haven't done anything with this. We see that it is a multi-layer file over in the layers panel. So we'll see the name of the file is bicycle and we can see underneath that it is made up of seven, di seven different layers that make up this cut file. So you would use a cut file when you're working with HTV or iron-on um, with vinyl. You would use it with infusible ink. Those are the types of um, projects you can do with cut files. So this has seven different layers. So we have a little basket, we have the seat, we have a little bit of the frame of the bike. So all of these little layers will be put together and cut out separately to make up the bicycle. Now, what we're gonna do is on the right, we're gonna flatten this so that we can do a print and cut image. So I want you to watch as I flatten. So I'm gonna have you watch right over here. We can see that all of the layers are selected because all of them are highlighted over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and I am going to click flatten. And now it's really nice and smooth. Do you see the difference? This one has all the little outlines over it. These are all little cut files. And now this is one smooth, nice image. Also, did you notice that this went from a seven layer cut file to a single layer print and cut file? And we can see that it says cut and print. So that means that we can send it through our printer and we can print it on either sticker paper, we can print it on printable HTV, we can also print it on printable vinyl, and then once it's printed out on our printer, we can send it through our Cricut machine to cut it. Now this is only um, capable of doing so on the Maker and on the Explore Air 2. You cannot do print and cut on the joy. In fact, I'll show you if you I have my maker selected right now, but if I for some reason had my joy selected, you would see right here that there is a little warning that just says that it's not supported by the joy. There also you will also see if you select this that you will not even be able to see a, a flatten button highlighted. So the flatten button is not even available with the joy because there's no point in flattening your image because you can't do anything with it. The joy is not compatible with print and cut. So if you are in the maker you'll see that flatten button, or if you're in your Explore family, um, you will also see that flatten button because those machines are um, capable of doing print and cut. So another reason you might do a flatten um, button project is when you are making a sticker. So look right here at these two files. There's a circle file and there is a heart file. And if you look over in your layers panel, they are both cut files. So as is, this would cut out of white vinyl or whatever material you send through. And this would cut out of a teal color. And then you would have to place them on your project one on top of the other. But what if I wanna make a sticker? So what I would do is I could put my heart over my circle and my circle was just created in my shapes um, icon over here I just selected circle and then once I have my little heart over the circle what I could do is I could highlight both of them again noticing that they are two different layers over here and they are both cut layers and then I could come over here let me actually duplicate this so you can get you can see it side by side I'm gonna come down and I am going to flatten so you see now it's nice and smooth and now it is one layer and it is a print and cut layer. So again, we could send this through our printer on sticker paper and if you need some help with learning how to make stickers, I will put a tutorial in the top right hand corner so that you can know how to make stickers with your machine. Again, this is only for the Explore Air 2 or the Maker. So this could now be printed. So when this 
prints and cuts, this is going to be one file. So it'll be a circle sticker and it will cut around the circle and you'll just have a little heart on it. If you also need some help learning um, about different type, types of print and cut projects, I will place a playlist right up in the top right hand corner that gives you a variety of print and cut projects that I have tutorials on and it will just give you a little inspiration for what you can do with print and cut. I hope this helps. So as a review, what the flatten button does is it takes a cut file from a cut file to a print and cut file. Or again, it will go ahead and flatten all of your layers into one layer. So that's an easy way to remember. You're just flattening all your layers into one. I hope this helps simplify the flatten button for you and you learned a little bit more about what it can do. If you found this helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also please be sure you're subscribed so you can learn a little bit more about Design Space through my tutorials and also so you can see what's coming to my craft table next. I hope you enjoyed this and have a wonderful day.